Hi, I'm Jenna Milley with It's On The Grid and TheWrap.com, and I'm here with the filmmakers of An Oversimplification of Her Beauty. What a great title. Thank you. So tell me your name and what you did on the film. Uh, my name is Terrence Nance, and um, I'm the writer-director, and I'm also in the film. Um, awesome. Yeah. And you are? Uh, I'm Nami Kementer, and I'm lead actress in the film. Very cool. So can you tell us what this movie about? Um, the <laughs> for me, it's about uh, self-awareness through through uh, an experience with love, and it, in general, it blurs the line between documentary and narrative, and it's it's telling of our the story of our relationship, and it is my side of the story singularly, and it uses um, both live action and animation to to tell my side of the story about you know what our relationship was and, and how important it is to me. Your on-screen relationship. And off-screen relationship. Well, no, no. It's all our off-screen relationship <laughs> is entirely on-screen. Yes. For a period of our life, not currently, but huh? For a, it's a little complicated. Yeah, okay. It's a little complicated. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. Yeah. yeah very yeah, interesting. It I do want to see that to see what happens. Yeah. So, how was that working together? Then, if you're get, if it's so intense, it sounds like a really emotional experience. How do you get along? I thought it was super easy to. I mean, we worked together well. That was kind of like how we became friends. Was like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. working on projects and collaborating so yeah I, I didn't think that was hard not a challenge at all it was just definitely just an extension of our normal life together cool how did you come up with the idea you said I've got to put this on film when when did that happen <laughs> one night um, like she said we worked together we used to design t-shirts together and one night we were supposed to meet up to do that and obviously you know I had a very I was very much so in love with her and so I conflated the idea of us working together probably into just a more that may, maybe it was. So one night, she couldn't come over just because of a misunderstanding, so that had me thinking about our general situation. So I wrote it that night. So it was wow. inspired by that kind of one day. Very passionate. Yes, and that was a long time ago, <laughs> that was too. a long time ago. When was that? How long did this 2006. take? 2006. Okay, so yeah. can you walk me through what happened next? You wrote this amazing, passionate... Yeah, I wrote it that night. Um, um, about, I wrote about 80% of the script that night. And it was, um, it, at the time it was a short film, I thought it was gonna be like a five minute film. Um, but that short film ended up being about 40 minutes. And then it was screened in 2006, in the same year, finished. Um, and you know, after it was screened, the short film, you know, we kind of, I've moved away, you know. <laughs> it was a, there was kind of a break there and then you know, I decided to expand that short film into the feature and oversimplification of her beauty um, in order to kind of complete the story because I felt like, you know, the short was just the beginning, you know. And mm -hmm. so now that short film exists within the, the larger context of the feature. Gotcha. So when did you get this project, you know, on your, how did you get approached to say, you need to do this with me? It seems uh, like a big undertaking. Were you on board from the very beginning? I don't know if it was, a, you probably just called me and you were like, <laughs> I'm making a movie. I need you to be here this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Like I didn't give very... much explanation. It was kind of like, I'm shooting a film. You're in it. Meet me here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, but at the time, you know, especially we had, we worked together cons constantly on, not even only this, but just other things, other films, other installations. You know, like mm -hmm. um, t-shirts, of course. So it was. The film to me is is my is a on some reenactment of our, my life with her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, calling her to do the film was with, within that context, you right. know, this is our life together. So like, hey, let's, we're gonna do this tomorrow. Did <laughs> that ever get complicated? You're like, can we stop filming for a second? I might want to tell you something <laughs> off camera. Not really, because it wasn't like anything was um, scripted. I felt like I was playing me. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't feel pressured for everything to necessarily be how it is in reality because I was just playing a vision or a version of myself. So no, not not too much pressure. So you were improving a lot or writing, helping with scenes, coming up with ideas. I never showed her the scripts. Um, so <laughs> it was in this the way completely I wrote. Improv. Yeah, it was completely wow. loosely directed. <laughs> yeah, very loosely directed. It was you know the short film was um, it was created as fiction, entirely fiction. So I mean it was our life, but nobody else, I thought, knew that except me and her. So it was, um, you know, all voiceover, 
so I just wrote the voiceover, and then I kind of had, I drew storyboards. I'm not sure the storyboards, like, this is what we're going to do, but um, the voiceover was just kind of added later, and it was what I wrote that one night, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so the actual process of being on set was very much so like, look at this drawing. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Can you, you know? talk a little about the drawings? They're so beautiful. How did you decide that that was something you wanted to incorporate, or was that just always there in your mind? No, it wasn't. I mean, the original short film had no animation in it. It was all live action. Um, and in the extension of the, th that into the feature film, um, a lot of it is about kind of the other things that were ancillary to the experience of the, the short film, um, like reading of letters, dreaming of dreams, mm -hmm. um, those things that I felt like were not easily um, filmed. You, couldn't, you can't film a dream. So that's where I brought in the animation and the illustrations to illustrate those moments. It's very cutting edge to have this hybrid live action animation. Have you, what's been the response? about that it seems so artistic and different um from you know last night was the first time showing the film and mm -hmm. I, I think um in general people were very impressed by the animation but i was really glad to to know that that wasn't the f at the forefront of the mind that like that stuck out any more than anything else i think like that was definitely not the first thing mentioned and you know the, just the nature of the story and it being told was definitely the first thing mentioned so i'm i'm very happy that people respond to it as a, one thing that you know even though there's all these disparate elements, maybe seemingly disparate elements, it comes together as one experience visually. So this is your first time at Sundance? Yes. What was it like being in a theater, seeing your movie play? Did you freak out? <laughs> <laughs> I freaked out going there, sitting down when it started, after it was done. It was amazing. I mean, it's, it's like crazy wonderful to see yourself on screen, larger than life. Yeah. So how do you cope, how do you get through freaking out? Like, is it just like stage fright where you're thinking everybody's watching me, everyone's <laughs> looking at this? And well, I mean, for me, I've lived with the film very, for a very long time, so I've had to deal with the reality that some at some point somebody's going to I mean, see me on the screen naked. You know, like it was just like <laughs> something I had to process a lot previous. So I, I don't know that I, that made me prepare for it, but I definitely wasn't nervous till about five minutes into the movie. And then I kind of just realized, like, oh, people might hate this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it, it's quite possible, you know. But then kind of, and also I'm a perfectionist, so just generally, even if I was watching it alone on a big screen, I was like, oh, my God, fuck that up, or I messed that up, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, is this something you want to edit or change? Of course, really? you know, yeah, yeah. I'm like completely, really? you know, <laughs> we go through this, but, you know, the it's never just. never-ending project. Yeah, I mean, it took forever <laughs> because of my perfectionism and because, you know, I, I guess my specificity in, um, desires about what I wanted to be you know so if it wasn't if the animation came back and I was like eh, it's not really what it, it needed to be redone and it was just like a lot of that but you know at some point I'm self-aware about that so I, I know it's got to be let go you know? how did you get to that point where you let it go because that um, seems like I got a letter from Sunday they called me and told me it's got to be screened <laughs> on this Sundance day. put the fire Deadline. yeah yeah you know I mean it was done obviously you know I sent a, a pretty finished version to them but um so it was going to be done you know within months after that but you know this hard deadline was definitely helpful to getting into where it is to the, the level of polish that it's at. What do you want to do next with the film? Where where are you going after Sundance? I mean that's really amazing to get here and mm. what's next for you? Um, the film will have its international premiere at the International Rot Film Festival in Rotterdam um, and then also we're going to uh, take the film to Santa Barbara Film Festival which is simultaneous to Rotterdam. Um, and then after that, you know, several other festivals, a few that I can't mention yet, but, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we, you know, we're, we're looking at just sharing the film on, uh, and on as many screens as possible, um, first with the festival run and then hopefully, um, with a distribution, theatrical distribution and, and, you know, VOD and DVD, you know, I'm trying to get it on people's eyes, you know, yeah. that's, that's, that's the goal, you know, to elevate the platform and, you know. Are you writing something else right now while you're doing this festival circuit? You're working on something new? Uh, I have something new prepared. Um, it's it's not a, it's a departure from my normally diaristic style. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us what kind of um, what's it about? I can, I'll, I'll wait on it, but it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, I'll suffice it to say it's it's. I'll give you the name of it. It's called the Lobbyists, Ooh. and it's a it's about a new take on lobbying. Okay, so more a little more serious, not as you would think, but not so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a it's definitely got some comedic elements but um you know I'm, I'm trying to blend different things you know so it'll be, it'll be interesting are you using the same cast 
I don't know if you want to do it. Is yeah, it, it will be. <laughs> I will be in the film. She's getting her call now. You're gonna have to be in this movie. She hasn't read it yet. Yeah, I'll actually. I'll let you read it. Are you gonna? <laughs>